Hi everybody, how are you? Are your tummies still stuffed from yesterday? Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I did. Tommy did a wonderful job. She uh she didn't do the usual big turkey. She did bought turkey breast. She put them in slow cookers and she had a rub on them. And then she said she put them on slow the night before. And she kept on putting this had Sam kept on putting this dripping she mixed up on it throughout the day. And then about 30 minutes before we were going to sit down and eat, she took them out and she put them in the oven and tonight she get this golden brown. And it was so moist and so delicious. I was really surprised because when, when she told me how she was going to do her turkey, I was like, hmm. And then we had mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes, green bean, mozzarella, cream, green beans, uh, Native American corn. If you're all wondering what Native American corn, it's my it's a recipe that my son-in-law came up with. He took some a recipe he saw and kind of made it, and he named it Native American because he said it reminded him of something his grandmother made or his great grandmother. I don't remember, but it's canned corn or fresh corn, uh, cream cheese, butter, salt and pepper, and you like that all together. Then you put walnuts in it, and then green pepper and red pepper, and there's something else in it. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Walnuts. I don't remember. But and it's really good. It's kind. Of, it tastes like sweet corn, but instead of it like this, it's it's really sweet. It tastes like sweet corn to me. And then we had stuffing. I cheated this year. Usually I make my own stuff, and I bought it this year. I was not in the mood. And let's see, squash I made, brown sugar, marshmallow squash, everything turned out good. Tina had a couple, two, too many glasses of wine. Not that I was, ah, three wine, three glasses of wine, I was like, giggly. And we came home and I talked to Sarah for a while. And then me and Diamond were supposed to go Black Friday shopping at midnight and she fell asleep. And then I was up, I couldn't fall asleep, so. But I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. A lot of it's crafty stuff or stuff I'm going to turn into a craft. So first I'll share. Oh, where is it? At first I got to share. My son last night says to me, hey mom, I'm like, what? he goes, do you have a pickle on your tree? And I'm like, a pickle? Yeah. And I'm like, no, well you need to get one. I'm like, do you have a pickle on your tree? He says, yes I do. So at the Dollar Tree today I found the pickle. So I had to send him a picture. But it says, the tradition of the Christmas pickle. It's Christmas, a time of Jingle Bell stocking presents, or stocking presents under the tree and family tradition. Celebrate the holidays with a time-honored German tradition and have fun with your family for years to come. Following a old world custom, parents wait until Christmas Eve to hide a small pickle ornament on the Christmas tree, tucking it out of sight among the branches. On Christmas morning, the family, the first family member to spot the pickle, was rewarded with special blessings for the upcoming year and received a first present from underneath the tree. Huh. I think I'm thinking maybe that's why Xavier wanted me to buy the pickle so he knows to look for the pickle, so he can get the first Christmas gift. But the thing is, is I do Christmas Eve, so I have to put this on Christmas Eve, so. Nobody's here Christmas morning. <laughs> so I don't know that was going to work. So I bought a pickle so my son's happy. I got me these Good Sense Flat, flat Ties large trash bags. Because I have a little garbage can in here. And I'm out of bags. And I got some bleach stuff for my toilet. Tissue paper. Yay! Let's see this bag. Oh. This soap. And I got me some conditioner. Uh, out. Yeah. Then let's see where do I start? Oh, okay, I'll start here. Bought me four cutting boards because I am doing some Christmas gifts. I'm gonna be making some of these. This one's mine, but I will be doing some other ones for Christmas gifts. And of course, I was out of glue sticks, so I bought me four packs of glue sticks. That should get me until next Friday. And then I got these little green gems, red gems, 
I've got some decoupage, five of them. I go through. I should buy this in a gallon jug, I swear. Literally. And then I bought one of those uh, ornament ball markers. I already have these. But I like, I've been using the white so much, I picked up another one before they don't carry them anymore. And then, Missy Do What You Love did this DIY, and I opened these bags because I did this video before, and then when I was watching it myself, I was cutting in and out. So hopefully I don't cut in and out this time. But I opened these. Because she did these cute ornaments. And every year I make ornaments for the Diamond's Christmas tree. For each one of the, the kids and her and Sam and Xavier. And I thought this would be a cute one this year. And I wasn't thinking because I wanted to use the little gingerbread people. For the, for the all of them. Only, you know, I got three packs. And then I was going to use the snowman. For Diamond and Sam. Except I should have bought one more pack. Because I forgot Leah. When I was thinking in my head, Munchkin. I, I feel bad. I forgot my own granddaughter. So what I'm going to do is, I am probably going to go buy me two more packs. But then I'm stuck with all these or other ornaments. Which I will use. So what I decided to do, is I'm going to do, how do I do this? I'm going to... Give Sam and Diamond, Diamond a Bell, Sam a Stocking. Then I'm going to go Leah, Snowman, Allie, Gingerbread, Coda, Snowman, Riley, Gingerbread. Unless I decide to buy another pack. <laughs> I probably will buy. Because I'm really thinking that I... Have the snowman as mom and dad, and then the little the kids. So I would need one more pack, right? Yeah, I would need one more pack of them. I'm thinking the gingerbread people. I'm really thinking to grab one more pack and do Sam, Diamond, So So, Allison, Lakota, Riley, the gingerbread people, and then the rest I can make myself. So, got that, got down, I wasn't thinking there, and then I bought these little bows for my cutting board projects, and I got these to use on my cutting board, the gold, and the red, and then got the red poinsettias as well as the gold, and then... I found these pen clips. The reason I bought these is because I'm hoping this works. Not, oh well, I'll figure out something. They're supposed to be able to stick a pen flat, but I was hoping. Aw, oh, man. Oh. I was hoping I could stick my pens in like this way, but it's made for this way. But you know what? I could stick it on the wall. Uh, that's what I'll do. I'll use it this way. Because I have these guys, and they're so cute. Except they don't have the stand like the ones from the Dollar Tree. So, But now I got I'll just stick them up on the wall. That well, works for me. And that is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, other than that, I'm going to go pick up my living room because we were so preoccupied playing with Coda yesterday, getting Thanksgiving dinner ready. Or... Thanksgiving squash ready and cooking and I, him and I made a fort so the fort's still up in my living room so I have to go take that down put the blankets away somebody walk in my house right now and look at my living room they'll be like what <laughs> but we made a fort so it has collapsed because I have this futon mattress it's like a half of a futon mattress and a kids kids sleep on that when they come over so that was in the fort, because Coda slept in the fort. Well, Scott brought that back downstairs for me, so the fort collapsed. So I'm going to go do, uh, clean my living room, put the to fort blankets away, and fold them all up. And then I'm going to come back in here, and I'm going to craft. 
I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy it. How's the weather by you? It's windy here, but it's actually really nice. I'm surprised. I got my um, Christmas solars up already. Oh, you guys can't see them. There they are. So I did that last night. I didn't have no new ones out yet. So I'll have to look for new ones. And see what comes out. So I will talk to y'all later. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and happy crafting. Bye!